So uh, you will hear in my colleague speaking from Surat, early trends that we are looking at right now, mammoth lead for the BJP in Gujarat quite along the extent that, you know, this uh, uh, would only validate what the BJP has been saying, that we are going to lead by a huge margin. But let's have first uh, Urvish Kantaria, please. Yes, it has been fairly reassuring for us to see the early trends now. Uh, we have always been maintaining that we will be winning with uh, two-thirds of majority, and uh, it is uh, appearing to be a very distinct possibility. Uh, four pillars of the voting psyche, as we see. You know, the four pillars, number one is leadership, number two is, and number four is our approach towards contemporary issues. Now, if you see the common element among all four pillars, it is emerging very clearly that leadership, especially the quality of leadership, is coming out with flying colors. And uh, Honorable uh, Prime Minister's visionary leadership, backed by appropriate mission and action, have really resulted into this kind of early trends. So leadership is are polarized to this aspect of leadership. And that has been observed since last uh, 27 years. And this time also, it is not really a matter yes. of surprise. You know, uh, you put out those four points very nicely. Let's have a reaction from Meeta Chakraborty. And I think this is right up your alley when we're talking about missing in action in Gujarat. And, you know, I've heard so much about how it was a deliberate strategy not to have Bharat Joro Yatra go through Gujarat. But the Ma macro as well as the micro approach and the BJP got it right in both these aspects. I mean, look at the number of change, gruntled groups, small disgruntled groups were placated so that no chances taken, uh, no anti-incumbency factor. Okay, firstly, good morning to you, to all my fellow panelists and to all your viewers. Uh, firstly, Thank congratulations uh, if we have to go by the early trends. Uh, secondly, yes, uh, obviously I'm going purely based on the early trend election. We do need to reflect on uh, our gap areas uh, and we definitely need to do some course correction. Uh, number three, uh, in Gujarat, um, I, I have to, uh, min while maintaining that yes, it's a defeat for the Congress <laughs> Party in the state of Gujarat, I will have to make this point about how AAP is a real challenger to the ruling BJP government in the state of Gujarat as how AAP is replaced BJP and is definitely the number two party in the state. That is how it was being projected. A lot of media space has been given to AAP is purely hype, mainly hype and low on substance. Yes, we have done badly. I think when we started, uh, uh, we have come down to something around 35 to 40, but we are still the principal opposition. The people of Gujarat was created by up, which had possibly led to some uh, split of opposition Fair vote. Point. Obviously, and we need yes. to we need to closely analyze this entire media hype that was hmm. created around up was definitely had affected that us. Is busted. And today, okay. today, hmm. today, today, we definitely need to call that out because hmm. yes, we are the principal opposition and we continue to remain the principal opposition party in the state of Gujarat. In the next election, definitely, we will people of Gujarat. Okay, I'm going to take that point forward to the other two experts. It's a very interesting point. The fact that the ARP figures were so hugely exaggerated. Of course, these are early trends. I have to keep reminding our viewers.